Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a part two video about Santa Monica 13 Gang versus Soto 13 Gang. To watch part one, the first video is pinned in the comments and description. On the evening of March 25th, 1988, Anthony Martinez drove to Stoner Park with his girlfriend, Lisa Melnick, to pick up Jesse Sandoval. Anthony, Jesse, and Alvaro Velasquez, a friend of Jesse's, walked into the park and stood around talking for about 10 to 20 minutes. Lisa remained in the car. Anthony, Jesse, and Alvaro then walked back towards Anthony's car. As they walked, a light blue mid-sized sedan drove by, going in the opposite direction. When they reached Anthony's car, Lisa was seated in the front passenger seat. Anthony walked around the back of the car, opened the driver's door, and stood there. Alvaro walked around the front of the car, stopping so that he and Anthony were facing each other, with the driver's door open between them. Jesse was standing behind the car. The light blue sedan made a U-turn, came back up the street towards Anthony's car, pulled up alongside it, and stopped just in front of it. Anthony turned and saw a face in the passenger window, saw that the passenger was looking over his shoulder, and heard the passenger yell, Santa Monica. Anthony heard gunshots and got a glance at the shooter, seeing his entire face. Anthony then saw a flash of red, felt a sharp pain in his stomach, and fell to the ground. Jesse also saw the blue sedan approach. He saw the passenger, heard the passenger yell, Santa Monica, and saw something shiny protruding from the passenger side of the sedan. Jesse went to the ground, remaining face down as the sedan drove away. Alvaro was shot and died immediately. Anthony was shot in the stomach, but was conscious. Jesse got up, saw that Alvaro was dead and Anthony alive, and drove Anthony to the hospital. Anthony underwent surgery and remained hospitalized for about two and a half weeks. The police took Jesse from the hospital to the police station where Jesse described the shooter and told the police he had never seen him. On March 30th, five days after the shooting, Detective Michael Bertram met with Jesse and showed him 12 photographs. Jesse identified a photograph of Sergio Antonio Marquez as the shooter, stating that looks most like the guy that did it. Sergio Marquez was arrested and charged. At trial, Marquez stipulated that he was a Santa Monica member and that he did not like Soto members. Detective Bertram, a member of the West Bureau Crash Unit, familiar with both Soto and Santa Monica, described each gang's territory, manner of dress, hand signs, other identifying marks, and style of graffiti, and expressed his opinion that, in short, the gangs hated each other. Anthony and Jesse both identified Marquez as the shooter. Jesse also described two earlier confrontations between the Santa Monica and Soto gangs at Stoner Park. First, Jesse testified that in January 1988, he witnessed a fight between Santa Monica and Soto gang members. Second, Jesse testified that in mid-1987, he saw Santa Monica gang members drive by in a van, shot out Santa Monica, and shoot at Soto gang members. There was no evidence linking Marquez to either of the prior incidents, nor any suggestion that Marquez was in any way involved. Sergio Antonio Marquez from Santa Monica 13 was convicted for the murder of Soto 13 gang member Alvaro Cookie Velasquez and the attempted murder of Soto 13 gang member Anthony Martinez. Santa Monica 13 gang member Sergio Antonio Marquez was sentenced to 29 years, 8 months to life in prison.